what it do y'all this is your girl star j craziness and i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video so at this point neither one of y'all got a place where y'all can go so y'all can be separated for real for real because the popo getting called not once but twice while the kiddos are still in the household as well child from <laughs> a drug test to a um can't pay your bills you're in debt your house was getting auctioned off and a psych evaluation now we down to calling the popo calling the popo mm, mm, mm. anyways let's just get into this now the first incident croy called police on wife kim for refusing to leave their bathroom what the heck I, yeah, let's get into it. According to investigation reports obtained by Radar, Croy called the cops on Kim days before both parties filed for divorce after 11 years of marriage, y'all. Now, per the documents, Croy contacted law enforcement on May the 2nd around 10.23 p.m. and was the first to greet police upon their arrival. Although cops believe they were responding to a domestic dispute, Croy made it clear that nothing physical occurred. The reason for the verbal dispute was reportedly caused by Kim refusing to leave the master bedroom when Croy wanted to take a shower. Damn, y'all don't have another bathroom where you can go take a shower at? Was it that big of a deal? Mm, see, somebody got to go. So we can't be on the same roof. We cannot, especially with all the issues y'all got going on. No ma'am, no sir, no child. The <laughs> and then the kids was there, once again, looking at all this foolishness. So, however, according to the tardy for the party, Kim, Croy began shouting at her, telling her to leave their house. Kim also claimed her um her former partner would stand in the doorway and block her and he allegedly tried to chest bump her what the hell but he claimed nothing physical occurred on this date now croy do we know the difference between getting physical and verbal because chest bumping that yeah that that's physical that's contact bodies are getting contacted to each other but anyways, moving right along. So she was advised to call the police if any of those offenses or any other ones occurred, the report stated, adding that she should go to a neighbor's house if any of <laughs> these type of situations took place. The blonde beauty reportedly told police that she did not want to get them involved as to not attract any media attention. Oh, baby, it's already out there. So the Popo advised Croy to take his butt somewhere else and let them be separated so things wouldn't escalate between the two. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this happened on May the 2nd. So on May the 4th, only two days, two days, y'all, after 911, someone please call 911. Pick up the phone, girl. Okay, we're called to deal with a separate domestic dispute involving the parties. Officers were back at the ex's Georgia home over property Kim claimed Croy took from her and locked away in a safe. Mm, mm, mm. During questioning, Croy admitted to responding police officers that he was allegedly attacked by the reality star, claiming he has an audio recording to prove it. Now, Croy then advised that Kim had punched him in the back of the head during an earlier altercation concerning the disputed property. Croy also told the officer he didn't have any visible injuries or evidence to prove that Kim had caused any injuries to him other than an auto recording of the incident. As Radio Online first reported, Croy and Kim filed dueling divorce petitions on May the 8th, both asking the court to award them primary custody of their four kids. But as the bare, not the bare knuckle divorce brawl draws in court, the emotional couple are still under the same tin roof where their children reside amongst the parents' meltdown. Mm. 
At the point during May the 4th incident involving a verbal dispute over marital property, the responding officers scalded the feuding pair, advising them to behave for the sake of their shell-shocked children watching this drama unfold. Several times during our encounter, which was the officers, employed Croy and Kim to remain civil due to the presence of their four juvenile children. The police responded at the home at 6.49 p.m. after Kim called 911 to report Croy had locked her design. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. Had locked her designer purse and jewelry worth $175,000 along with her passport in the home's basement safe. You gots to be kidding me. Kim alleged that Croy had taken a property that did not belong to him and was a premarital asset. Croy told the responding officer the items were marital property and accused Kim of having a gambling problem and losing a large sum of money recently. After some prodding croy retrieved the items from the safe but not before telling the reality star to leave the room because he didn't want her to see where he had hidden the key this is some child ass shit i'm just gonna keep it a book this is very childish as the officers were leaving kim was seen furious loading a white range rover with her personal belongings purses glasses handbags and other items in an parent attempt to keep croy from seizing it kim even begged the officers to remain on the scene to prevent her ex from stopping her in retaliation croy whipped out his cell phone camera to record the event kim and croy engaged in several verbal disagreements which included croy putting his attorney on speakerphone so that his estranged wife could hear the deaf <laughs> some petty ass shit here so his wife could hear the definition of marital property while preparing the five page police report Corey called 911 at 10 52 to report that kim was using his credit card sparking another dispute over whether the card was marital property i feel bad for them kids i just feel bad for them kids y'all think that was the end of it hell no so at 1 19 a.m kim called 911 to report she returned to the house to retrieve medications from her bedroom but croy had allegedly barcaded himself inside and was refusing to open the damn door. He told the officers he placed the medication in the hallway. No, the <laughs> this man, they, these two need to be put in time out. Because at this point, they're acting like some little ass kids fighting over some candy that their parents told them they can't have at this point. So, Kim called the police again. They suggested she call an ambulance to transport her to the hospital. She instead decided to sleep in a... <laughs> I'm done with this shit right here. She instead decided to sleep in another room. And that was all she wrote, honey, with that. Y'all tell me what y'all... I can't even muster up anything to say after the bullshit I just read. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section below.